Hi, this is Doug Shields with Clear One's Technical Training Department, and today we thought we'd like to show you about the different colors of cross points and what they do. If you look at this matrix, you see that we have blue, yellow, green cross points. We could also have brown cross points. In fact, the first four inputs are mic or line inputs, and of those mic or line inputs, we can choose between a yellow echo canceled gated cross point, a blue echo canceled non-gated cross point, or a brown pre-AEC and gated cross point. Now what do these do and why would we use them? Well, we're going to focus on the brown cross point today and in particular how we might use that. And when we do that, we'd like to uh, look at the circuit that uh, this goes through. To do that, I'm going to show you a different slide that illustrates what portions of the circuit each of the cross points go through. Here we see a depiction of the input signals, input 1 being routed to output 2 through a yellow cross point, input 1 being routed to output 4 through a blue cross point, input 1 to output 6 being routed through a brown cross point. And you can actually see that the different colors represent different circuit paths. The brown cross point does not go through the echo canceller or noise canceller. It also does not go through the automatic level control. And those three things being deleted from the signal path make it ideal when we're routing the audio inside the room in real time for sound reinforcement. It has the lowest latency. We don't need echo cancelers for the mics being routed back into the local room. That's sound reinforcement. We don't need acoustic echo cancelers for that. The noise canceler has no benefit for us because we can hear the noise in the room acoustically. Canceling it through the mic circuit would not help us any. And the automatic level control that's skipped here, that means that those mics that for the far end would go through that circuit and might be adjusted upward or downward as someone moves away from a microphone, they might be turning that mic up, that won't throw us into feedback in the local room. It's not going to adjust that level up or down in that regard. The mic is still mixed. It's going through the auto mixer, which is the gating parameters for it. And this allows us to have a, uh, a signal that's uh, nice integrity with the time domain, sounds nice and tight. It's a good sound reinforcement signal. Hope this helps. Good programming. Take care.